Everything has finally arrived and has been installed on the bike for me to try out these Rhino Walk soft luggage bags. These are 48 liters, 24 liters a bag, and they seem kind of small. I have all my camping gear in here to try out just to get an idea of how much room I actually need and if these will work for this summer's meadow camping trips. The Chubb Tusk KTM bend, I take off the bike. It just wasn't working out. On the left side, when I put the crash bars on, the clutch cable was rubbing up against the crash bar bracket a bit too much. And on the right side, I had to run the throttle cables in front of the brake line. On left turns, these would get caught up on the dash display. And with that being switched over, they were kind of rubbing together. So over time, they would just start wearing each other out. So back to the stock bar, but I did keep the three quarter inch risers. Well, let's see if the Rhino Walk will hold all my camping gear. And I did pay for this bag out of pocket off Amazon. They were having a sale. I believe it was like 145, 140. I'm gonna put a few things in left and right side. So it's a little bit easier to put the bag on the bike. There's this shoulder pad. It's like a shoulder pad for carrying these. It does open up fairly large. Let's see. I'm just gonna put the sleeping pad in. And let's put the camping chair on the other side. Kind of a heavy item camping chair. And let's stuff the sleeping bag in on this side as well. Looking pretty good. Let's go take this outside and strap it to the bike. in the front and what the heck goes back here these are all adjustments for the bag I'm missing something let me go check in the shack here they are two straps so they have loops on them I guess we're gonna have to figure out which positioning is best on the alt rider rear luggage rack those ones come down to here to loop it first I guess we can just try this positioning first. From the reviews I read online, people are saying that these straps come a little bit loose. So we'll see what happens after the first couple of rides. Okay, there's one side. Here's the other side. It did come with these two pads, they must go here. Where else would they go? Better protect your seat. Hide this excess ridiculously long strap. I'll just leave that like that for now. So there are little cam buckles like on the top. So we'll do. I'm gonna run it through this one. that let me fix this really quick i'm trying to go a little bit fast with this there's a storm coming in i can see the clouds over the mountain still using my cheapo ozark tent from walmart i could probably get a little bit something more efficient that seems to fit almost perfect on the bottom back with the sleeping pad Wise Owl Pillow. Might get a blow up one for this season. It just takes up quite a bit of space. Camping chair, not bad. So I got the K2 
Kelty mummy bag, which I hate. I realize I do not sleep like a mummy. I'm looking for alternatives. I'm a belly sleeper and a side sleeper. And I cannot fall asleep in that damn bag. Well, here's the, the new swivel chair. So we actually don't need this. What? Plenty of room in here. That's all the camping gear. I kind of split it between the two bags. Let's close these up and see what they look like. These are the clips that go here. We definitely have enough straps all over this damn bag. That's one of these clip ones, which is a good thing. Keep everything secure. Okay, well there's, there's one side. I'm gonna deal with those later. All right, we finally have some soft luggage on the T7. I'm going to wrap this video up. The storm is coming in. These obviously aren't your top tier bags. The material, it could be a bit thicker. My only worry is a hard fall left or right and tearing them open. Other than that, I like the way they look. They fit the bike perfectly. These are the 48 liter. They have two smaller sizes available as well. I'm gonna play around a little bit more with the straps, get everything nice and tight on the bike. I was worried about the bag up against the actual back plastic because this will rub against the plastic and dig into the paint. But I bought this 3M clear coat. Now that I know where the contact point is, I'll probably do, I don't know what, two layers of this. We'll see how that works out. I'm going to throw the bike back in the shack. The weather's looking really nice coming up. Maybe we'll have a chance to go on a moto camping trip and try out these bags. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.